If there's one thing that I've noticed uh, over the years of running the Wood database uh, that people want to see or want to know about, it is what is the hardest wood in the world? And uh, it seems like there's like an obsession with, you know, which one is the hardest? And uh, I guess going along with that is, um, and maybe if you're familiar with my recent poster that I've released uh, called Worldwide Woods Ranked by Hardness, and you may have noticed one of the woods that uh, has commonly been floating around the internet as the hardest uh, in, in recent years has been uh, what's sometimes called Australian bull oak or bull oak. But if you notice on, on my poster uh, that I recently did, uh, I didn't even rank bull oak in the top 10. It wasn't even number one or it was not even in the top 10. And maybe some people are wondering uh, what's going on with that. And so the best way I know how to address this question of you know, what is the hardest wood in the world and uh, try to figure out uh, what's going on with hardness and why I chose to do things the way I did. Um, I'm gonna start with one illustration. And that is, I have here, uh, this is the South African Forestry Journal. Uh, it's actually from 1981 and 82 is this volume here. So, yeah, September 1982. And we have an article here, Performance of South African Grown and Imported Timber Species as Railway Sleepers. And you can go through here. And the reason why I'm telling you this is because there is uh, a listing here on page 45 of this, which has uh, a wood called Endra Endra uh, from Madagascar. And uh, it lists here a Jenka hardness. And this is, again, this is 12% moisture content side grain hardness, so this is exactly the measurement that we're looking for, and it lists uh, a hardness of roughly 24 kilonewtons, which is, um, or I guess the exact number is 24,052 newtons. So if you convert that to kilonewtons, it's you know a factor of 1,000, so it's about 24 kilonewtons. 24 kilonewtons, that works out to uh, in imperial units, uh, 5407, 5,407 pounds of force uh, for a Janka hardness rating, um, which would put it, if, we're, if I'm going just by this one source, this would put it at number one. This would put it above even, you know, Australian bull oak. I would put it again above any uh, one uh, data point, any one study that has been done. So if, if you want to go by just singling out single sources, I would have to say that this is, as far as I know, the highest number that has ever been come up with for hardness. So the reason why I'm using this as an example uh, to illustrate uh, wood hardness is that I know maybe, maybe some of you already are excited that, oh, there's this wood, it's even harder, it's 24 kilonewtons, it's, it's you know, over 5,400 pounds of force um, hardness. But what you have to keep in mind is that uh, that was just one study that's just one source, and there could be many possible explanations as to how they got that number. And so, uh, for me, for you know the Wood database, how I kind of run uh, the numbers and how I uh, choose to present the data is my general philosophy is to show to try to show the best representation on average of what you're going to get. Um, so, for instance, and I, I don't know, the, I, I can't name the exact source, I've not, I'm not even able to find it, but I know that in one of the Guinness Book of World Records from who knows how long ago, they had the, the hardest wood, or not the hardest, it was the heaviest, the heaviest wood that had ever been recorded, and it was, uh, and they gave the name, I think it was like, I don't know, they used some obscure name like African Ironwood or something like that, but if you looked at the, if you looked at the scientific name, it was basically the name for what we would call today East African olive wood. And so um, my point is that East African olive wood, it does not, it's not the heaviest wood in the world on average. So, so in, the, in the Guinness Book of World Records, what they probably found was some tree, some single tree growing out in the middle of the desert that was very dense. It had grown very slowly and they cut it down, they tested it, and it was extremely dense. It was extremely heavy. And so that was the Guinness Book of World Records for the heaviest piece of wood. Um, I think the specific gravity was like 1.49 or something like that, but it was very heavy. Um, but anyway, 
what I'm trying to say is that there's a difference between a single piece of wood and the average of that entire species. So another example of this on the other side of the spectrum, which is now, I don't, it's kind of gotten out of control. It's all over the internet now. It's on even Wikipedia is uh, Quipo wood, which is uh, back in the 50s, the USDA did some studies on it. There's actually a, a document that they have, which is, uh, let's see, what is it called? So it's, yeah, 1955, Strength and Related Properties of Balsa and Quipo Woods. And so the, the number that's always floating around the internet now is 22 pounds of force for Quipo. And they're saying that that's the softest wood, which again, if you actually go back and read the report, I mean, it's, I think it's wrong in two ways. Number one, that is very deceptive because they have a chart showing all the different data points and all the individual pieces of wood that they tested. And it's a broad spectrum. And the absolute lowest number that they found of, on one piece of wood, on one very abnormally soft piece of wood, tested at 22 or approximately 22 pounds of force uh, on the Jenka hardness test. But so that's the first problem is that that's not just because you find one piece does not mean that oh, if I get another one, if I go to the store or whatever it is, and if I find another piece of this wood, it will also be at 22. And that there's just one number for that hardness and it's just completely uniform, um, which is not true. So uh, there's a wide range of hardness, hardnesses within even a species and even within a, the same tree. Uh, if there's like a knot or if there's different kinds of grain or where it's at, uh, there's a wide range of hardnesses. But that's the first problem is that they took only one single data point. But the second problem, which is just like a, a head smacker, is that they were comparing balsa and quipo woods. And if you actually look and read the, the legend of the document, that 22 pounds of force was not even for quipo. It was for balsa. So they, they got it mixed up. I guess maybe it was sensationalism trying to find some hidden thing, trying to find the latest and greatest thing and put it on the internet, I don't know. Uh, or maybe it's just an honest mistake, they just misread the data. But if you look at the little legend on that chart, it's actually balsa that, had, that, that read the 22 pounds of force uh, on the hardness scale. And again, neither of those numbers for either of those species is typical. And so the, you know, even, even in their own words, to quote the, the conclusion of the article that I'm talking about, it says the two word, the two woods were approximately equal in, and it gives all these different ways that they were equal. And the last one they list is in hardness. So they, they basically, uh, they basically concluded that balsa and quipa were basically equal in hardness. So I guess, you know, I guess, cause since the nature of the internet is just copy and paste, copy and paste, what is, what does this guy say? I'm just going to copy him and paste it all over the internet. So the common numbers that are thrown around usually for balsa are maybe like around 80 to 100. And then Quipo is 22, which again is just completely false. But um, now, I mean, I could be wrong. Maybe there's some other study out there that I don't know about that. And so I would, if, if anyone knows about that, if anyone knows the original study, not just, you know, a, a website that, that is copying and pasting from someone else, but if someone knows of the original study that was done that actually shows this wood tested at 22 pounds of force, I would be more than welcome to hear that. So with that introduction out of the way, now that I've kind of explained the, the variation that can be found in woods and the discrepancies and possibly even misreading data, uh, now I come back to the Australian bull oak, which has been reported as roughly 5,000 uh, pounds force or 22 kilonewtons, and why I have chosen on the wood database to not list that single value. And the reason for that is, I guess, twofold. Uh, number one is because that's not the only source of data they have. So there's obviously uh, Keith Boodle's book, uh, Wood in Australia. Uh, that's one place where you can read the 22 kilonewtons uh, for the hardness of bull oak. Um, but that's not the only source that I have. Um, and, and again, that's not even an original source and he didn't really list where he got that number from. So I think maybe there's some Australian government study that was done that I, I can't find the original source. So again, it's hard to figure out what that was. I mean, there's just so many questions on, um, you know, how many samples were collected? 
where were they collected from, uh, what was the average weight of the samples that they were testing to see if that was typical for the species or not, or if it was abnormally hard wood. Um, but again, we just take that at face value. It's pretty trustworthy. So we've got the 22 kilonewtons, but that's the first source. But then there's this, another source, Wood in Australia in Color by David Clark. And he lists, um, I mean, there's a ton of good information on that as well. Um, but he lists a, a hardness of 11.2 kilonewtons for Australian bull oak, which is basically almost half, uh, less than half of um, the other source. And that is, that works out to 2465 pounds of force. Um, so that's a pretty wide discrepancy. But if we go back to that um, Andra Andra, that wood that was from Madagascar that I was talking about before, which, which had the, uh, the 24 kilonewtons, the reason why, and then this is kind of just going to tie this open thread up now, is that that is not typical, I believe, of that species. Um, because I have other sources that list that exact same wood um, at, let's see, what is it at? 14.7 kilonewtons, which, which um, works out to uh, 3312 pounds force. So <clears throat> in both of these circumstances, there's widely uh, divergent numbers. You know, in the, in the Andra Andra, it's 24 kilonewtons, and then the other source lists 14.7. So that's, that's a wide spectrum. Um, and then with the bull oak, uh, 22 kilonewtons on one source and 11.2 on another. So again, what I do, since this at best casts doubt on the first number, I don't try to be a fan of wood. Uh, it, hopefully you understand what I'm saying. I'm not rooting for one wood. I'm not trying to somehow uh, finagle the numbers so that this one comes out on top and this one comes out on the bottom or this one's better than this one. I just try to find as many original sources, um, as many reliable sources as I can, and I come up with an average. So I try to, I just try to find the best picture. And that's why you'll probably notice that the numbers on the wood database don't always match what everyone else is copying and pasting. Because usually it's just one source and they're just finding one number and they're just spreading it all over the internet. And I feel like that is not an accurate picture of each species. So that brings us to now Worldwide Woods, ranked by hardness, my latest wood poster. I had to, <laughs> I just had to start to make a stand on some of these things. I had to, I tried to avoid it and sweep it under the rug, but it, eventually I knew I had to address it if I was going to rank them. And again, this ranking is very uh, tenuous. Again, there's so many things that could affect a wood's hardness. There's so many things that could affect, you know, if you happen to find an abnormally hard piece of wood that is, let's say, number 20 on the list, it could very easily exceed the hardness of a number one or number two or number three on the list. So, so much of it is in the actual density of the individual piece of wood that you have. And all I'm trying to do is I'm trying to paint a picture of, more often than not, on average, is this wood tending to be hard or is it tending to be dense? So, for the poster, in case you were wondering, uh, the number one wood that I picked was wadi wood. Good old wadi wood. Now I, it's a very obscure uh, wood that grows in Australia. It's like out in the desert and it's not common. Please do not try to go and find a bunch of this wood. It's protected. It's endangered. And But for the sake of the poster, for sake of, I guess, trivia, um, from what I was studying, from what I researched, I found that consistently it was harder and denser than other woods. Now, maybe there's some abnormally hard pieces that, uh, of wood that are from other species that could you know, exceed that, as we saw with the, the Endra Endra. Uh, but on average, wadi wood was what I found was the hardest, and obviously there's number two, three, and all that stuff. So I don't know if that means much. Uh, for the trivia guys out there maybe, but that's why I have demoted, if, as it were, uh, Australian bull oak, and I have, I guess, promoted some of the other ones that are not quite as common. So at the end of the day, uh, when it comes down to wood hardness and which one is the hardest, which one is the densest, a lot of times you won't necessarily know that just by going on a website and checking out uh, the numbers. Uh, if you're looking for the hardest one. 
Um, it's just meant to be representative of, in general, this is what you can expect, but it's not a guarantee that you can take it to a laboratory and it has to be that exact number for the hardness. Uh, it just doesn't work that way. There's just too much variation from tree to tree. There's too much variation. Where did it grow? How old was it when it was harvested? Uh, was it growing in a native area? Was it growing in a non-native area? There's just so many different um, environmental uh, variables. There's just so many different things that can contribute to a wood that might actually be uh, considerably harder or softer than what you would expect given um, all these variables. So, um, <clears throat> If you find a piece of wood that you think is abnormally hard for that species, chances are it is. Chances are it's probably much harder than what a number in a book or a number on a website would tell you. Uh, and if it seems like it's lighter than that, maybe it was grown like on a plantation or it was grown someplace that was more conducive to growth and it grew faster, and uh, it's chances are it wouldn't be as hard. You know, just because it says it on the website doesn't mean that it's going to be that way in real life. So hopefully that paints a picture of uh, our quest, as it were, for the hardest wood or for the strongest kind of wood or whatever it is that you're looking for. Um, just know that there's a lot of variables involved and it's not always as cut and dried as you might think.